I'm Dr. Ross. As many of you will wash out or be fired, I won't waste time letting your names for at least a year. I will call you by your dwarf names. You, Happy. You, Mousy. There wasn't a dwarf named Mousy. They saved her for you. That is Sandra O oh as Dr. Christina Yang on Grey's Anatomy, the long-running hit that made the Canadian-born actress a star. O oh earned five consecutive Emmy nominations and won a Golden Globe Award for that role on Grey's Anatomy. When she ended her run on the show in 2014 after 10 seasons, O oh was confronted with the question faced by any actor walking away from a defining role. Now what? The answer for O oh was a lead role and an executive producer title in the acclaimed BBC America series Killing Eve, which has earned her another Golden Globe Award and three more Emmy nominations. In the midst of the success of that show, O oh hosted the Golden Globes and Saturday Night Live and was named one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People all in the same year. Sandra joined me for a Sunday sit-down over Zoom from London, where she is shooting the final season of Killing Eve. The times when you miss a studio. No, it's just flicking lights. That's literally what we're doing. Thankfully, Sandra O oh is back in the studio, stepping into a lead role she plays in real life, too. Trailblazer. Oh, there she is. Our first lady chair. Woman, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. We're in dire crisis. On the new Netflix series, The Chair, O oh stars as Dr. Jiyun Kim, the first woman to head the stuffy English department at a prestigious university. I feel like someone handed me a ticking time bomb because they wanted to make sure a woman was holding it when it explodes. It's like what it is to be a woman and a person of color who enters into a leadership role who's trying to change a very antiquated and patriarchal white system. Could you dig into some personal experience as a woman of color who stepped into these prominent roles and sort of understand what she was going through? Yeah, I do. One of the things that I, I feel like I have learned in my career that is a little bit ahead of Professor Kim is that change is slow when you are an individual facing an institution. Dr. Kim's name, you say, that was really important that her name was authentically Korean. I can trace, I feel like how Hollywood has progressed. When I was on Grey's Anatomy for 10 years, the show never addressed people's ethnicity. You're my person. With the show Killing Eve, I was able to bring a certain aspect of Eve's cultural heritage. But in the chair, when I saw that Dr. Kim's name is, is Jiyun Kim, now I can play a character who specifically has a Korean name, and all the characters are going to call her that name correctly. O oh was raised outside of Ottawa, Ontario, by parents who immigrated to Canada from South Korea in their 20s. Despite O's oh love of performance from an early age, her mother and father discouraged their daughter from pursuing a life in the arts, suggesting something more practical. But O oh went her own way, turning down a college scholarship to attend the National Theater School of Canada. What were those early years like when you said, Mom and Dad, I know you maybe don't get this, but this is what I want to do. What I am so blessed with is that the way that they were an obstacle to me, it only makes you tougher in a good way. So when you are pounding the pavement, you already have a certain layer of confidence because you've already surpassed the doubt of the two most important people to you. And the Golden Globe goes to Sandra O. The moment when you win the Golden Globe for Killing Eve. 엄마, 아빠, 사랑해요. What was that moment like to see your parents who were skeptical at the outset watch their daughter be so successful at what you chose to do? It's profoundly satisfying that when you reach a certain type of milestone, your parents who support you so deeply are actually there in the audience. O's parents first began to see the wisdom of their daughter's choice when she received acclaim for her role in the 2004 Oscar-winning film 
sideways. Uh, why don't we go back to my place? I've got wine. The next year, everything changed for O when she began her 10 season run as Dr. Christina Yang on the television phenomenon, Grey's Anatomy. I would like us to talk because I care. Sideways and then Grey's Anatomy, it was a real, a real shot out of a cannon. With that sideways success, you said to yourself, I don't have to do the girlfriendy sidekicky thing. I can be front and center. It was not in the terms of I don't want to be XYZ. It was very much like I only want to play dynamic characters. I only want to play things that inspire me. <laughs> Somebody sedate me! <laughs> what was it like in your life to be thrust onto that show, to have this big role on the biggest show on TV? To be perfectly honest, it was traumatic. Hmm. <laughs> it was traumatic. And the reason why I'm saying that is the circumstances you need to do your work is with a lot of privacy. And so when one loses one's anonymity, you have to build skills to still try and be real. And I went from not being able to go out, like hiding in restaurants, to then being able to manage attention, manage expectation, while not losing the sense of self. How do you do it, though? Well, have a good therapist. <laughs> I'm not joking. It's important, yeah. No, I'm not joking. It's very, very important. You just have to work at finding your way to stay grounded. And a lot of times that's by saying no. A couple of years after leaving Grey's Anatomy, O said yes to playing the dynamic lead in the spy thriller series Killing Eve, earning a Golden Globe Award for her performance as British intelligence officer Eve Palastri. I know something happened to you with us. I know you're a psychopath. Can you give us a little look ahead to season four of what your fans might expect? Well, I honestly, I am just in the middle of shooting the last season and I can tell you nothing. I knew it. Except. Oh, I thought I might break you, Sandra. <laughs> that, you know, we're really, really working hard to try and like really honor that relationship. Very diplomatic answer. It felt like you were giving something and you really weren't. O had a bit more to say on her recent 50th birthday in an Instagram post where she thanked family, friends, fans, and those great characters she's played. I'm not a big poster. I just really wanted to thank everybody. Is it overwhelming in some ways to stop at this point and say, oh, wow, look at, the, look at all the things I've done. You know, actually doing stuff like this, those are the moments that I actually have to stop and go, oh, what have I been doing? What have I been trying to make? And it's a really good checkup thinking about it in those terms, but I think it's a good checkup. So thank you. Sandra's new series, The Chair, is streaming now on Netflix, and that mysterious final season of Killing Eve airs next year. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full-length interview with Sandra O. Oh. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.